Hello guys, let's discuss current affairs and today's set of questions uh, start with uh, a look at the recent uh, recently announced bi-monthly monetary policy. As of June uh, 5th, 2020, which statements about the RBI's bi-monthly monetary policy is our true. Now, the GDP growth rate, uh, the RPI, this is all came from the RPI. The GDP growth rate at 9.5%, well, yes. Uh, Repo rate remains unchanged, yes. Uh, so did the reverse repo and of course the bank rate and uh, marginal standing facility. In fact, nothing changed except that the forecast changed a bit. Now, um, this is real GDP growth rate. It's not something called the nominal growth rate. Okay. Um, so let me take you through this entire thing. I'll give you some basic definitions and discuss, um, you know, uh, important stuff about uh, uh, you know the monetary policy I mean I'll give you some basic dope because we're not going to discuss uh, uh, whether this rate uh, whether you know these things are feasible or not because this is not for us this is too small a you know, space time for us to discuss things okay <clears throat> at the right time maybe I'll bring in more because this is one of my favorite areas discussing the prospects in the Indian economy the current state of it and the prospects of growth for it. So let's look at um, the monetary policy as such. Please write monetary policy committee. Monetary policy committee. Monetary policy committee. <coughs> first point. <coughs> so MPC first point. First meeting first meeting in October 2016 October 2016 so when was it started sometime in 2016 and that's when it had its first meeting um, first meeting in October 2016 2016 next second point set up under set up under the RBI Act Act the AIN Act should always be capitalized okay RBI Act 1934 they should be commas between the act and the year under section 45 ZB yeah this is right under section 45 ZB hmm next <clears throat> interested Entrusted with the responsibility of entrusted with the responsibility of deciding various policy rates, various policy rates such as cash reserve ratio comma statutory liquidity ratio to repeat cash reserve ratio statutory liquidity ratio repo rate next reverse repo rate and here it is marginal standing facility marginal standing facility marginal standing facility oh, we said like different deciding different policy rates like so we have not mentioned everything liquid adjustment facility liquidity adjustment facility laf we have not mentioned anything we mentioned five of these actually Okay, CRR, SLR, repo rate, reverse repo rate, and MSF. Full stop. Next. Six members. Six members. Dash. Headed by. Headed by. I'm so sorry. Headed by. RBI governor. RBI governor. So. 
it comprises six members that for me six right I, let, I said directly said you know um, six members which means it MPC comprises six members six members headed by the RBI governor last point the current six members are the current six members are so we will look at the current composition okay uh, Shakti Kanta Governor Shakti Kanta Das Shakti Kanta Das Governor Shakti Kanta Das Professor Ashima Goyal Professor Ashima Goyal Next Dr. Mridul Sagar These are all PhDs. Next, Professor Jayant Verma. Then, fifth one, Doctor. Sashanka Bhide and Dr. Michael Patra. This Devabrita Patra, but it's okay. Michael Patra. So six names have come. Doctor, uh, no, Governor Shakti Kantatas, Professor Shima Goel, Mridul Saga, Jayant Verma, Sashanka Bide, Michael Patra. Have become four plus two, six. Oh God, cool, yeah, that's nice. You got all the six names. Next, let's go to the basic definitions for each of this. So, right, GDP growth rate, GDP, GDP, gross domestic product. How do you pronounce it? This is gross, not gross 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 domestic product right the total money value the total money value of all goods and services the total money value of all goods and services produced produced in one country produced in one country in one year in one year I repeat the total money value of all goods and services produced in one country in one year. So in a year, let's say if financial year between April 1st and 31st of March of next year, in this 12 month period, a country would produce, let's say India produces goods and services. We would produce this glass, this phone, this tablet, this laptop, my shirt, you know, whatever you have with you. So we would deliver services. I'm delivering a service for time now. So we are all paid. Everything, every service, every good that's produced has a money value. The money value of everything is add, added. Like for example, this phone has a value of one rupee. This glass has 50 paisa. Okay, this laptop has, uh, you know, uh, 50 pa 75 paisa. So the value of everything is added. My service value is added. The final output you get is GDP. Simply put, everything that is produced, is given a money value has a money value the money value of everything is added the final output we get is gross domestic product that's money value of all that is produced now we are not going to look at absolute numbers as to what is india's gdp and everything uh, some other time we'll do that but you look at that 9.5 percent um, that is a growth we have growth over what over financial year see this financial year starts on first see first april it started on first april 2021 and this is going to end on 31st march yeah 2020 next year so in this financial year this is what the growth is like to be this 9.5 percent is over the growth in fy 21 
FY21 would mean that it started on 1st of April 2020 ended on 31st March 2021. So in this year, whatever was the absolute amount, let's say 100 rupees was the total GDP of India. Our growth would be 9.5% of 100 rupees. So by the end of this financial year, that is 2022, our GDP growth would be, a total GDP number would be 109.5. You got the idea? Because it's 9.5% of, you know, 100 previous year's total GDP. So we are going to add this and we get the total absolute amount to be 109.5. This looks very big. Earlier it was projected at, um, you know, 14% um, or something. So you need to understand this is a low base effect because in see last financial year our growth was very low. In fact, we we had a degrowth. It's called a degrowth or simply put recession. We Our GDP shrank from previous years. So in financial year 20, whatever was the GDP, our GDP went down by minus 7.5%. So our GDP actually contracted in the previous year, whereas this year it's likely to expand. So it's technically a low base effect. It's not that kind of huge thing that, you know, we should be very happy about. But because there is a low base in the past, things are slightly different now. Now, this is after inflation. This is what is called real growth, real, inf real rate of growth, real rate of growth. The actual growth would be around 14% minus 5% inflation. So you get, um, you know, about 9%. That's how you calculate. This 14% is called nominal. But inflation is the rise in price. Just because prices have increased doesn't mean that output has increased. The value of the output will increase if the prices increase. Yes. But technically there is no increase. It's only the price that has increased. So you have to deduct, you know, from the nominal growth, you have to deduct inflation and you get you know, the real growth this is a real growth. Got it? So likely to be around, um, you know, uh, nominal growth is likely to be around 14 to 15% of which, you know, from which you have to deduct the inflation rate and you would get 9.5% kind of thing. So it's a little downward revision from previous years. Previous, um, you know, uh, projection was about 11%. But um, that, that projection came about before... Um, you know, before uh, the second wave hit. And you know, the second wave has been quite devastating. It, it has been quite bad for the entire economy. While it has been tragic for individual families, it's been pretty bad for the entire economy. Okay. So, um, you know, uh, we, a lot of money, in fact, um, because of the second wave, uh, one, there has been there have been lockdowns, there have been shutdowns of the economy in large pockets, basically large pockets. There has been no growth in the hotel industry, tourism is gone, um, you know, industrial production has, has been impacted because of this. And of course, there are a lot of other sectors as well. Now, you need to understand something here that um, when we are talking of uh, hotel sector, Look at this, it's just not that hotels have closed and the rooms are there are no guests. It's what about the people who work with those hotels. Hotels normally won't employ people, you know, in bad times because they need revenue coming in to be able to pay salaries to their employees. Now, for two years, almost one and a half years now, there have been no growth in tourism, in people moving between places, both for business and pleasure purposes. Okay. So things are bad, so bad that a five star hotel in Bombay recently, you know, in Mumbai sometime last week um, or this week, actually, a five star hotel, you know, um, shut down operations, telling its employees, we don't have enough money to pay you salaries. So we're shutting down operations. It's a five star hotel next to Mumbai International Airport. Think about it, if it could happen to five star hotel with which usually have deep pockets, you know, it's a world class hotel chain. And if that could happen, if this kind of stuff could impact such a large hotel entity, think about smaller hotels. So people who were employed with this hotel now don't have jobs or they don't have income. When they don't have income, they don't have purchasing power. 
their demand for goods and services also decreases but they would have you know loans they would have uh, other obligations school children's fee their tickets fees you know household expenses they may have emis everything so emis there is no other source of income anything to pay off the emi so they would default that would lead to an increase in the nps of banks you look at how it impacts everyone yeah so someone who does not have an income would not go to a hotel would not go to a restaurant would not go out to buy stuff that normally they would so this re reduces the overall demand for goods and services when that happens then production suffers when production suffers because there is no demand for the production for the stuff uh, production you know goes down when production goes down companies fire people because revenue is not coming in and they don't want to be saddled with only expenses and no revenue again look at this when people are fired they don't have jobs when they don't have jobs they don't have incomes and this is how it goes it's a cyclic cycle it's a vicious cycle and it's a pretty bad thing it's just um, it's in the great interest of all of us uh, you know that the second wave dissipates quite fast so people often talk about uh, the third wave uh, the third wave when it would hit us there is no clue but it may or may not come and if it does come we need to be better prepared okay that's how it is my friends so this little about gdp and um, next look at just basic definitions repo rate right please repo rate repo rate um repo is rate of interest rate of interest charged by charged by the rbi rate of interest charged by the rbi on short term loans on short term loans short term loans you can write usually less than a year less than a year less than one year short term loans to commercial banks to commercial banks so rate of interest charged by the rbi on short term loans to commercial banks okay next reverse repo reverse repo next definition we need to look at is reverse repo dash now you, if it's reverse you would know that you would just have to turn around the definition okay right rate of interest charged by the commercial banks charged by commercial banks on short term loans on short term loans to short term loans to um the rbi the rbi rbi next bank rate next one bank rate leave one line space right bank rate um rate of interest charged by the rbi charged by the rbi on long term loans long term loans long term loans to commercial banks to commercial banks so when we say long term more than a year usually more than a year next last one marginal standing facility msf marginal standing facility okay and underline this below this we will take two three points instead of just one definition one standard definition right um window for banks a window window for banks to borrow from the rbi to borrow from the rbi in an emergency situation in an emergency situation 
when interbank interbank liquidity interbank liquidity dries up completely dries up completely dries up completely so banks can't let's say they can't borrow from each other because they don't have enough liquidity with them they don't have enough money supply with them they don't have enough spare money you know with them so what they do is they can go to the rpi and borrow from the rpi but it has its consequences next interest rate interest rate is 1% above repo rate is 1% above repo rate 1% above repo rate which means it's expensive so this is more of a last resort for banks a marginal last resort that is see if it's 4% you look at the what is the repo rate 4% now 1% above repo rate would be 5% so loans become expensive for banks to borrow that kind of money would be expensive because they have to pay that interest and when they borrow at 5% in less this this is in this case it would mean that they would have to charge more from their customers and charging more would, from customers would mean that you know let's say one bank charge you know borrows from the rbi you know um, uses msf facility charge you know borrows from um, the rbi at 5% so this bank let's call it a this bank would lend to you know um, let's say lend to me now i you know the interest rate is 13% bank b which has not used the msf but which has managed its finances quite well its repo rate it it's borrowed through repo rate and everything it's you know it's let's say 4% the you know it, it's at 4% now this bank b which is which whose outgo interest outgo is on the low side it would charge b let's say 12% i want to borrow they say 12% b say bank b says 12% bharat bank a says 13% where would i go i'll go to bank b because the interest rate is lower the burden on me is lower i'll go so bank a loses business and this is reflective you see when banks resort to msf it's a it's more of a you know reflection of poorly managed finances even if it's short term it's poorly managed finances okay last point under msf minimum amount rupees 1 crore rupees 1 crore while the maximum is while the maximum is while the maximum is 1% 1% of net demand of net demand and time liabilities 1% of net demand and time liabilities net demand and time liabilities what does it mean it means the bank has to see net demand and time liabilities are different kinds of accounts the bank has savings demand account would be savings account current account time account would be fixed deposit rd and all that so bank has in the various kinds of deposits and some of these cash is kept with the rbi some in the form of slr and everything some of this is kept with the rbi means through S crr and um, through in some of this is kept in slr form that is um, you know its own investments now a lot of money goes through that and net of whatever is left with it 1% of that is a maximum amount okay maybe i'll focus a little more on this in the next few classes which of the following statements uh, regarding neft is or false neft stands for electron national electronic funds transfer yes there is no minimum and maximum limit on the amounts of funds that can be transferred through neft yes remittances can be sent abroad using neft no this is incorrect okay so what we will do you know is to take some notes on neft let's write this neft underline that first point launched in november 2005 simply launch 2005 launch 2005 these kinds of questions come in interviews so you need to have some information about 
these kinds of payment systems, you know, electronic payment systems for us to, you know, uh, when I say payment systems, it could be a fund transfer also for us to be able to discuss this when we are asked this question. Okay. It's good to be informed, well informed. So launched 2005. Next, what is NIFT? A nationwide payment system, a nationwide payment system that allows that allows transfer of funds, transfer of funds from one bank account to another, from one bank account to another. Individuals, let's full stop then. Individuals, comma, firms, 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 just typically sold to the ships. Individuals, comma, firms and corporates and corporates can transfer money from one, from one bank branch from one bank branch or one bank branch to any other bank to any other bank account to any other bank account held by held by anyone else held by anyone else full stop next Available 24 by 7. Available 24 by 7. It's 24 7. Dash. Even on holidays without grammar. Even on holidays. Full stop. Next point. There are. There are. 48 of hourly batches 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 every day every day of hourly batches every day dash dash first batch first batch Starts at double zero thirty hours. That's how you read it. Double zero thirty hours, <coughs> or you can say O O three zero hours. Okay. With the last batch, with the last batch, ending it last batch ending at double zero double zero hours full stop this means this means continue there this means there are no real time transactions no real time transactions real time transactions dash but happen but happen within 30 minutes within 30 minutes full stop no charges are applicable no charges are applicable next point no charges are applicable on NEFT transactions on NEFT transactions no charges are applicable on NEFT transactions. Last point. If you have to transfer to someone, what would you need? So right, beneficiary needs. Needs the following details. Beneficiary needs the following details. No, 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 I think, uh, sorry, I'm so sorry. Transferer needs, I'm so sorry, guys. Transferer 
you can put an E also here, both are right, but O is better. Transferer needs the following details of the beneficiary, of the beneficiary. So if you're transferring, you need details of the person who would receive the amount. What would you require? Dash, bank account number, bank account number, bank account number, next, IFSC code, and IFSC code, two are enough, and IFSC code. Bank account number and IFSC code. Last point. Minimum transfer amount is minimum transfer amount is one rupee. Rupee one. You can write like this also. Rupee one. With no upper limit. With no upper limit. With no upper limit. See, um, this does not happen real time. So if you, the bank gives an option, do you want NEFT or um, it is a, you just have to, these are boxes, okay? Um, or what is called, um, you know, IMPS. We, about this, we will discuss in the next class, not now. So in the next class, I'm going to discuss some payment systems, IMPS, ECS, we're going to look at um, something more, whatever is required, we'll look at it. Okay, so NF, NEFT and uh, IMPS. So if you choose for IMP, uh, NEFT, it means it won't be sent immediately. It will be batched together, bunches. Your payment, my payment, say we made a pay, you know, request between, uh, between uh, around 1040. Now, you know that, 1040, there won't be an immediate, uh, there won't be a NEFT transactions. It would happen either at 1030 or 11, isn't it? It's off an hour basically. So we put in the request at 1040. It would ask us NEFT or IMPS. If we choose NEFT, then it will be sent at 11. Let's say you put in a request at 1040. I put in the request at 1042, but we chose, we, we choose, let's say NEFT. So it will go at 11. There is no payment here. It's all bundled together. Where thousands of transactions would go together at the same time. But if you choose, you know, you choose, let's say, IMPS, immediate payment service, then it would go at 1040. At the time you put in the request, it would go right then, right then. It would go, it's a real time transaction. You say IMPS, send, goes immediately. Because it's an extra service the bank provides for immediate transfer, the bank would charge you paisa, obviously. Isn't it? Yeah. Because this is separate, it has a separate cost, not transaction cost and everything, because yours is the only transaction, let's say. Whereas NEFT is bundled together. Thousands of transactions are put together and they go through the system. Okay. Yeah. Chalo. Yes. Isaac Herzog is a new president of, well, you see there, Israel. Uh, Israel's current Prime Minister, see, you can write this, you know, uh, Israel dash, or oh, you want uh, all the details. Okay, chalo, ek kaam karte hai. Israel ke baram likhte hai. Israel, um, the capital, Jerusalem, okay, Jerusalem, semicolon, uh, Prime Minister, for now, as of today, it's Benjamin Netanyahu, but most likely will change in the days to come. Benjamin Netanyahu is not able to form the government. Okay, the currency is new shekel. So this is the PM. PM Netanyahu, currency new shekel, Jerusalem is the capital. You could write dash, Isaac Hazak, has succeeded. He, see, today he is not in office. He will become the new president in the days to come. But he has been elected. He is 11th president. Will, you know, um, succeed Ruven Rivlin. Isaac Hazog 
will succeed Reuben Rivlin as the new president of Israel. As a new president of Israel. As a new president of Israel. What a lovely colorful map, na? I love maps. Hmm. So. Turkey, this is Turkey. It's a huge country. Okay. Uh, see, there is this Istanbul here. Okay. And uh, there is, see, Istanbul is on both the Europe. This is a European side of, this is a European side. And this is a Turkish, uh, Asian side. You know that Istanbul is spread across both the, you know, both continents. What? How, how big is Istanbul? Well, it's a big city, no doubt about it, one of the biggest in the world, but between the Asian and the European sites, there is a narrow channel of water, an extreme, it's more of a canal, you can say, okay, this one, you see this here, yeah, there is a name, it's not clear here, this one, this narrow channel of water has about five bridges, so fifth is under construction, okay, so four bridges with the fifth one being built, you know, this narrow channel of water that separates two land bodies is called strait. Remember, narrow channel of water that separates two land bodies is called strait. But in India and Sri Lanka, there is Park Strait, PLK. Similarly, between the European side of Istanbul and the uh, Asian side of Istanbul, we have the Bosporus Straits. Bosporus. This one. You can see the other side. You're standing here. You can see the other side. It's hardly about, you know, uh, four kilometers. Less than four kilometers actually. So it's so close. Ships move from the Black Sea in and out of the Black Sea. You know, like this. Through this. This is how. This is the Mediterranean Sea. All of that. Okay. So... And there is this story, someday I will tell you about Istanbul, which in 1453 was called Constantinople and was occupied by the Arabs and that changed the world. Someday I'll tell you the story. I love history, especially of all this region, this entire region. Isaac Herzog, okay, we know Turkey. Turkey's capital is Ankara. That's a capital. You see this city in the middle of the country. This is Ankara. Yeah. The president is Recep Tayyip Ardohan. The G is silent or pronounced with an H. The currency is Lira. So you have capital Ankara, the president Recep Tayyip Ardohan, and Lira being the, what we say, the currency. Turkish Lira, it's called. Lebanon is a country that's in deep trouble. This is Lebanon. It's a very tiny country. You can see here this one. Mm. Lebanon's capital is um, Beirut. There is a very good movie called Beirut. Watch it if you can. It's a true story. Beirut. Then we have, uh, you know, the president here, Mikhail Aoun. Okay. It's a parliamentary democracy, those so the prime minister is important, but we are discussing you know this is the prime minister sorry, this is the president. I'm so sorry guys. President Z the shortcut. Prime Minister you want to write? Okay, chala likte A B Likte. Hasan Dayab PM Hasan Dayab Currency Pound Lebanese Pound. Lebanese pound. Hassan Dia, Prime Minister, pound is a currency. Azerbaijan. This is Azerbaijan. You see this country here? This is Turkey. 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 These are all Turkic people. Hmm? Yeah, someday I will tell you the story. Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan is um, the capital is Baku. Baku and uh, the president is Ilham Aliyev. 
President Ilham Aliyev Currency is Manath Currency is Manath Okay Last one we can look at Iraq Pretty large country you can see here Okay Iraq's capital you all know is Baghdad Prime Minister is so PM, I will write PM Mustafa Al Kadimi. Mustafa Al Kadimi, and uh, the currency is dinar, Iraqi dinar. Enough, yeah. Okay, yeah. I think. Few days back, we discussed the situation in Israel, you know, between Israel and Palestine. So, a lot of things are happening there, as usual. Whom the following Indians has been unanimously elected to the board of the International Dairy Federation? Ha, ah, our Saudi, Rupinder Singh Saudi. If you want his full name, Rupinder Singh Saudi. You could write. He is um, chairman of, or MD, you could write, of Gujarat Cooperative Milk Marketing Federation. G C M M F, comma, owner of Amul. It's a mass massive corp, you know, corporate. Well, he is M D of Gujarat Cooperative Milk Marketing Federation, which owns Amul and all that. Now it has more than thirty eight lakh farmers on the roads. They source milk from these farmers and of course that's turned into the different products that we have uh, from Amul. And um, recently one uh, Western organization called the People, the People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals had uh, said that uh, Amul should switch to vegan milk, plant-based chemicals. It is see plant-based milk, which means chemical-based milk. Okay. So, you know, because uh, PETA says that um, this kind of um, milk is, um, you know, is in being insensitive, milking the cow, you know, uh, renders its udders, you know, uh, the udders the, the, uh, um, swollen and everything. Now, this has been being, this is being done for thousands of years and farmers don't harm their own, you know, animals, their own, you know, cows and all that. But you know the Western organizations always talk about these things that you know vegan is the right way to go. They don't talk about uh, they, they they never talk they never talk about these things when it comes to KFC, Pizza Hut, which use a lot of meat and everything. They don't tell them that you should use plant based meat and everything. There is plant based meat. So when it comes to Indian companies, they talk about these things. Like one more thing that you know happened is that. R.S. Sondi wrote a letter, you know, he is asked PETA, so you say that it's vegan, you know, we, that we should adopt. Well, um, why don't you, he said, why don't you discuss uh, what the 10 crore farmers from whom we buy, you know, um, not just 38 lakh farmers on the roads, but 10 crore other all overall farmers from whom we buy this milk. What about their source of income? Who will give them employment? Because selling milk is a big source of employment, source of livelihood for them. So PETA has no answer as usual. Yeah. So you should discount all these guys, Western. They always have agendas for them. Okay. You know how big is Amul? Amul is a 38,000 crore company. It's not a gully corner dairy. Okay. It's a 38,000 crore company. And sales have been impacted because of the pandemic and everything but otherwise sales would have exceeded 40,000 crore from what the projections were two years back 
but of course it will bounce back and all that. Hmm? The first case of a rare strain of blood, uh, sorry, bird flu known as H10N3 has recently been reported in a 41 year old man in China. Now, this is quite far from where we, you know, coronavirus is. I'm not talking of the, the place, I'm talking of this strain would be very rare. It's a rare strain. It's very difficult to, add, you know, uh, spread actually. But let's hope this, this does not become an, another pandemic. So we have uh, this being sub, you know, from poultry, it has, this virus has jumped to a man in, uh, what do you say, uh, China. And things are pretty bad in large parts of the world anyway. So everyone's accusing China of cover up today because now they believe that there is this lab escape theory. That is, the virus might have escaped, coronavirus might have escaped from the Wuhan Institute of Virology. And it would be a, and it, there is also that this is a human modified virus. That is, you know, it has been deliberately, you know, modified. The DNA of this has been changed and, you know, that's why it's, you know, it's been so infected, you know, but say contagious, infectious. Anyway, this is Vietnam. I can see this is a pretty large country here in the east on the eastern coast, uh, you know, of uh, Asia. And um, this country's capital, if we can just look at eastern Vietnam's capital is Hanoi. Its president is Guen Phu Trong. Okay. Guen Phu Trong is... Um, the president of Vietnam, but remember, it's a communist country. It's only one party state. The communist party is the only party allowed in this country. And while we, the, we may pronounce this as Guen, it's local Basha, it's pronounced as Win, W I N, Win Fu Trong. And the currency is Dong. The currency is Dong. So if you go to Vietnam, you would need Dongs. That's what it means. Uh, from here, you could look at um, Thailand, this country you see here. Yeah. Thailand is a monarchy and uh, constitutional monarchy, all powerful monarchy. Bangkok is the capital. The king's name is, so let's call him king here. King Maha Vajira Long Kong. One name. Huh? Mahavajira Longkorn. Um, Prime Minister. You can say Pradyut or Prayut. Prayut. Chan O Cha. Chan O Cha. Prayut Chan O Cha. Okay. And the currency is Bahat. Bahat. It's a predominantly Buddhist country. In fact, all of these countries are Buddhist. All these countries are Buddhist. This entire area is Buddhist. This is Roman Catholic. So is this country here, East Timor. These are all Muslim countries. Okay. So one last country we could look at. Kenya we looked at recently. So I'm not going to... Anyway, Chalo, we'll spend time but far fast. We are running um, Kenya. Capital is Nairobi. Uh, the president is Uhuru Kenyatta. President Uhuru Kenyatta. The currency is shilling. Kenyan shilling. North Korea. Korea is sorry, South Korea. It's not Korea. It's not shown here. But anyway, fast Seoul. The E is silent. Seoul. And uh, the currency is, sorry, the, the, the president's name is Moon J in president. Currency is Won. South Korean Won. South Korean Won. Chali. Which tech giant has recently introduced its highly anticipated homegrown mobile operating system need named Harmony. This is Huawei. How do you pronounce this? This is pronounced 
वा ए वा वे और वा ए दैट्स प्रोनाउंसिएशन वा वे ओके या वा वे आई डोंट डू राइट दिस दिस इज अ लोगो ऑफ वा वे दिस इज वन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड्स कंसीडर्ड टू बी वन ऑफ द मोस्ट dangerous companies in the world it's a telecommunications company it makes this internet gear systems all technology behind 4g 5g and everything so the american government has said that huawei is more or less owned by the chinese government chinese military which is chinese government and um, you know if they would build our 5g networks it would mean that they they can have access to all the you know backdoor access to everything that's happening in the country and that's a very dangerous thing so the us and large number of european countries have banned huawei india has commenced 5g trials in fact has given permission for 5g trials to indian companies and you should know that um, huawei has been excluded all chinese companies have been excluded but we didn't make a noise about this we didn't make a noise about this whereas the chinese where the americans and even else um, have made a noise uh, made a noise yeah have made a noise so let's write wave where is it headquartered shenzhen headquartered in shenzhen china um it's uh, pres chairman is ren jengfe this is an ex military guy from china he was in the chinese military reng zengfei his daughter has been jailed by canada at the request of the us for breaking sanctions against iran so some other time we can discuss that reng zengfei okay that's uh, what is that uh, huawei from there we can look at couple of more country companies you would be interested in knowing about you know um, xiaomi how do you pronounce it xiaomi or you can say xiaomi no harm both are right okay uh, it's headquartered in beijing it's headquartered in beijing its ceo is a guy called le zun he is a guy who founded the company yeah le zun xiaomi or xiaomi then um apple headquartered in a place called cupertino california us town of cupertino california us tim cook is a ceo tim cook is a ceo so tim cook is a ceo um Samsung we are talking of Samsung Electronics please Samsung is a big group Samsung Electronics we are discussing it's a 200 billion dollar company okay it's headquartered in a place called Suwon South Korea Suwon South Korea and its chairman is Lee J Young DJ Young BlackBerry is no longer a great company it used to be a great company of course it is the company that drove business phones you know i used to own a blackberry in those days but no longer it's no longer a great company it is a canadian company anyway just to finish you know um uh, it's headquartered in a place called waterloo canada its chair ceo is john chen john chen chen you know so which country is working with the world health organization to launch a global pandemic radar to identify covid 19 variants and track new diseases around the world and the uk is doing this i think we already know about all these um, you know um, countries so we'll not focus on this uh, just one thing you could write is CEO of WHO Foundation. Okay, Anil Soni. You just write this extra fact. 
Yeah. Another one you could write. Founding date of WHO, April 7th, is you know observed as World Health Day. Founding date, uh, founding day of World Health Organization, World Health Organization is observed as World Health Day. Okay, it's 7th April 1948. But we just look at the day, that is 7th April, is World Health Day. Prime Minister Yoshihide Suga recently pledged an additional $800 million to the COVAX facility, thus aiming for a fair distribution of coronavirus vaccines worldwide. Yoshihide Suga is the Prime Minister of Japan. And you know what? Less than 14%, 20% of Japanese population has been, you know, has been um, vaccinated, less than 20%. But then what is COVAX? You write this COVID-19 vaccines, COVID-19 vaccines, global access, global access, COVID-19 vaccines, global access, <sighs> global access, dash, what is it, dash, global initiative, Global initiative for equitable distribution for equitable or fair simple way right fair distribution of coronavirus vaccines coronavirus vaccines for fair distribution of coronavirus vaccines hmm. I just tell you about Philippines capital Manila. President, everyone calls him mad. Rodrigo Duterte, Manila, Rodrigo Duterte, and uh, the currency is peso. Spanish, Spain ruled this country for 330 years. So between 1568 and 1898. So, Taiwan. Um, Taiwan is um, the capital is uh, Taipei. President is Tsai Ing Wen. Tsai Ing Wen. Currency is Taiwanese dollar. Taiwanese dollar. Chale. Who has recently been appointed to the World Bank Education Advisor with his tenure from June to June 2021-24, so 23 year term. Ranjit Singh Disale, who received the recent Global Teacher Award, Global Teacher Award or Global Teacher Prize, hmm. 2020, Global Teacher Prize. 2020. Now, he has been appointed by the World Bank as its education advisor for a three year term. And uh, I think we can look at these choices. But before that, you could write uh, Coach Project. Coach Project. You may get this question. Coach Project. Put a star mark. Underline that star. Put a star mark. Launched by World Bank. Launched by World Bank. Second point. To improve. To improve. To improve. In service teacher. In service teacher. In service teacher professional development. In teacher service professional development. Professional development. To help. To help. <coughs> to help. Children. To help students. To help students learn, learn at a faster pace, 
learn at a faster pace 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 means speed so aims to help in service teacher professional professional development improve to aims to improve in service professional development to help students learn at a faster pace that's the idea you know people make a huge difference my friends a good teacher makes a huge difference everywhere like manjit singh disale hmm? um ramesh pokhrel education minister of india education minister education minister union education minister jaggi vasudev of course he heads the isha foundation anand kumar will not discuss his guy kailash satyarthi uh 2014 nobel peace prize nobel peace prize you don't have to write winner of a you just write that you will know what is it basically why you wrote that 2014 nobel peace prize um founder of bachpan bachao andolan bachpan bachao bachpan bachao andolan he is an anti child labor activist my friends bachpan bachao andolan save childhood movement that is what it is wonderful who won the 2021 international booker prize for his book titled all at night all blood is black what a beautiful title i have read about this book i haven't read the book i have read about the book david diop france is a writer but uh, this is written in french so there is a translation okay so you write translator or translated by translated by okay anna mosco this i think uh, i got it wrong yeah yeah it is not this one first time i learned you know and i can tell you that i am not very comfortable with this particular name but this is the right spelling <laughs> this is the right spelling okay moschovakis anna moschovakis translated the work so this prize is given to both okay the the the, the guy who wrote the book original book and the translator okay i'll give you the name of just one more book um maria mariana enrique mariana enrique um the dangers of smoking in bed is title the dangers of smoking in bed the dangers of smoking in bed okay which bank tied up with swift to offer a facility that helps overseas partners to send instant remittances on behalf of their customers to a beneficiary in india the question is self explanatory but we need to know what is swift so please write swift okay society for society for worldwide banking worldwide banking financial telecommunications i am writing in short telecom society for worldwide banking financial telecommunications easy they basically it's a code that's given to a bank the city and everything so the the the, the you know uh, the payment happens immediately so i may have an account with x bank and you may have an account with y but if i have to transfer money it would happen immediately if i would you know use swift technology swift method actually okay so access bank ceo is amitabh choudhary hdfc bank sashi Jag- sashidhar jagadishan yes bank prashant kumar prashant kumar icici sandeep pakshi sbi dinesh khara 
to repeat amitabh chaudhary for access bank sashi jagdishan for what is that hdfc bank prashant kumar ceo of s bank sandeep bakshi is a ceo of icic bank while the chairman of sbi is dinesh khara hmm? next with which company has the defense minister signed a contract for the procurement of 11 airport surveillance radars with monopulse secondary surveillance radar for indian navy and the indian coast guard well this is from an indian company so you know uh mahindra group you know you know mahindra group is headed by anand mahindra it's a anand mahindra group company mahindra group company the ceo of uh, you know uh, the chairman of mahindra group is anand mahindra anand mahindra Larsen and Tubro L&T, two persons from Denmark started this company. Henning Hock Larsen and Soren Tubro, not required, just for familiarity's sake. The CEO is L&T CEO is S N Subramanian. Subramanian. This is spelling. S N Subramanian. Tata Group. Chandrasekharan. natrajan chandrashekaran natrajan this bharat forge is a part of kalyani group please know that bharat forge is part of kalyani group and the ceo is baba okay n kalyani baba nilkant kalyani but full name is baba saheb nilkant kalyani but you write baba kalyani that's how is popularly known okay baba and Kal- baba kalyani he is ms from mit massachusetts institute of technology it's a huge engineering firm forging you know they are into railway uh, building railway equipment they are now getting into defense they have got into defense also The Union government has recently set up an expert group on the fixation of minimum wages and the national floor wages. The expert group will be headed by Ajit Mishra. The other names you see, Tarika, Vibha, Anushri, Srinivas, they are all members of the same expert group. But it's the chairman is Ajit Mishra, you know, who is the director of Institute of Economic Studies, Economic Growth. You could write director of director of. Institute of Economic Growth, Director of Institute of Economic Growth. Now I want you to become familiar with something more. What is minimum wage? We'll use these terms: minimum wage, and then we'll write national floor wage. Hmm? Please write minimum wage. Dash. different for different categories of workers minimum wage dash different for different categories of workers so this is the minimum most minimum wage that far workers could get okay but it is different for different categories of workers so we can't write that this is the minimum wage next point no national floor wage national floor wage dash minimum level of wage minimum level of wage that is accessible or paid accessible to all categories of workers accessible to all categories of workers across india across india so national floor wage is a minimum level of wage that is accessible to all workers across all categories of workers across india okay the capital market regulator sebi has recently enhanced uh, overseas investment limit for a mutual fund house to house one mutual fund house Uh, to dash from the existing 600 million now it's 1 billion dollars now what is this indian mutual funds can invest abroad there is a limit set as to how much they can invest in overseas shares okay earlier 
in November, that is 2020, the limit was raised, raised from 300 million to 600 million. Now, in June, okay, in June 2021, it has been raised, raised to 1 billion dollars. So, up to 1 billion dollars, that is about 7,300 crore, a mutual can, fund can invest in shares of companies that work abroad, that, that are registered abroad. You, you look at Apple, if a mutual fund wants to register in, you know, buy shares of Apple, they can. But there is... See, a lot of Indians are these days buying shares of companies like Tesla, Amazon, Microsoft, foreign companies. Okay, and that is happening through mutual funds or some private, you know, what to say, companies that provide that platform. So, they can invest now more. They can invest more now. Which country has topped the globally recognized Air INC Global 150 cities? index for financial attractiveness ranking for the third straight year so we are talking of countries we are not talking of cities okay um, Bahrain is a country but that is not important we look at cities because it's a cities index it is a cities index okay so let's please write um, you first write what is the index measure right air inc global air inc or air inc global 150 cities index write the name of the index write the name of the index okay underline that first point index highlights index highlights index highlights cities highlight cities that have the ideal combination that have the ideal combination of high salaries high salaries comma low taxes low cost costs cost low cost and of course and high quality of life and high quality of life high quality of life full stop right top five cities top five global top five cities global top five cities Global top five cities. Right. One, Zurich. Two, Geneva. Both are in Switzerland. Three, Luxembourg, which is also a country. Three, Luxembourg. Four, Munich, Germany. Five, five, Calgary, Canada. Calgary, Canada. Okay. Chali. Next. World Environment Day is celebrated across the globe on June 5th every year to generate awareness of the significance of nature. The theme for this year is ecosystem restoration. Okay, I'm going to give you two dates uh, between uh, June uh, 12th and June 15th. Okay, June in the first in a previous class I think we took a list of for the important days between June 1st and June 10th. Now we are going to look at between these two. Okay, we'll keep learning about this. So. June twelfth. June twelfth. World Day Against Child Labor. World Day Against Child Labor. World Day Against Child Labor. Then June fourteenth. World Blood Donor Day. 
World Blood Donor Day. Blood Donor Day. ठीक है चलिए विच स्टेट एस ट्रीट इन द टॉप रैंक इन द नीति आयोग सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट गोल्स यू नो सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट गोल्स वर ब्रॉट इन बाई द यू एन डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम यू एन डी पी एंड यू नो हाई एजुकेशन आई मीन एजुकेशन यू नो वॉट वी सेम सैनिटेशन क्लीन वॉट क्वालिटी ऑफ वाटर यू नो ऑल दीज थिंग्स आर अ मेजर पैसेंट देर सेवनटीन पैरामीटर्स फॉर दिस जेंडर इक्वालिटी इन एवरी थिंग सो विच इंडियन स्टेट हेज स्टॉप्ड You see, this is I have put everything. This is from the index. I went to the Niti Aayog website. There I found this index, and I have taken this basically. Okay, see this. Uh, number one is Kerala. Number one is Kerala. Okay. Number two, there are two states: Himachal Pradesh and Tamil Nadu. You can see the numbers are same. On number two, Himachal Pradesh and uh, Tamil Nadu. Number three, there in the, so. rank 3 we should not be there technically in the next position would be these states what are these andhra pradesh goa karnataka uttarakhand so these four states technically speaking in the fourth place these two are in the second place and this is in the first place so kerala has stopped it among union territories which one has stopped yeah chandigarh chandigarh and in the second place would be Three, Delhi, Puducherry, Lakshadweep. So this is I took this from there. So the source is right. At the bottom is you can see Bihar. In the second place from the bottom in the you know from the bottom is Jharkhand. Pretty bad position. They always have this. You know I think decades of negligence has brought this. The Indian Minister for Social Justice and uh, Minister for Social Justice and Empowerment has recently launched Sage Portal, what is website with a view to help elderly person persons. Sage stands for Senior Care Aging Growth Engine. Now I just want to tell you what is this? Uh, who is the minister? The Union Minister for Social Justice and Empowerment is Thawar Chand Gehlot. Thawar Chand Gehlot. Okay, chalo. Which state has organized a banana festival in Kushinagar, Uttar Pradesh? Kushinagar, you know, is associated with Bhagwan Gautam Buddha. So, you know, Uttar Pradesh. See, in two thousand eighteen, Uttar Pradesh launched a one district, one product scheme. Under this, a district should produce what it is very good at. So Kushinagar district is pretty famous for its uh, what is it uh, bananas, world class. You know this and at this festival they showcased what can be made with bananas, eatables, edibles that is banana wafers, chips and all that stuff, plus other things that could be used with banana plantains and all that stuff. Hmm? So um, I want you to write. the top 3 produce the names of the top 3 producers of banana top 3 producers of banana hmm one india india is a global leader in banana production two china three philippines okay yeah. next Which state has launched I Learn, a capacity building and uh, performance tracking application for community health workers, uh, health officers, Nagaland? I am not going to discuss this in detail, except that the name of the chief minister here is Nifu Rio. Rio. This is you, Nifu Rio. Okay, Manipur, um, Biren Singh, chief minister. Mizoram, Pu, Zoram, Thanga, Tripura, Vipulap Dev, Vipulap Dev, Arunachal Pradesh, Pema, Khandu, Pema, Khandu. Next. Which country passed legislation giving mothers and their partners the right to paid leave following a miscarriage or stillbirth? 
China, you know, New Zealand. Now, this is a very advanced step, of course. Um, this is to overcome the, you know, the, the, the tragic occasion, the tragic situation of uh, uh, having, uh, you know, suffered a miscarriage or childbirth, um, stillbirth, that is born dead. Stillbirth is born dead. So, you know, New Zealand has gone ahead and given this the partner, you know, mothers and their partners. So the word partner could mean anything, a spouse or, you know, anyone living and all that. So it's the right word to use. So New Zealand, and you know what, I'll just end this class with one. Um, in 1893, New Zealand was the first, first to give, first to give women the right to vote, right to vote. First to give women the right to vote. 1893. Yeah. <laughs> it was then a British colony. In those days, it was a British colony. So, that's about it. There's a lot of little noise here also, work going on. Thanks for being here. Have a lot of fun. Stay safe. Get vaccinated. Thank you.